and we are back with a first turn, still facing Delial. Um, let's look at his hand. He has a right weakness. All right. Uh, he definitely has a right weakness. Maybe we can take advantage. Maybe we can. We'll see. Uh, but intuitively, I kind of want to stick, you know, something in nine. Sadly, I have no combos back on six, eight, five, nine. But nine, eight, three, eight? I do have combos back on 5-5-A-9, five, five, so 9-8-3-8 and 9 could be a nice move. I have a serious right weakness too, though. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Still, we've all got right weaknesses. <laughs> what can you do? Uh, my 9-8-3-8, pretty valuable card to hold on to then in some instances, but I still have decent coverage without it. I'm not sure it gives me unique coverage. For instance, if I play 9, 8, 3, 8, and 9, 5, 5, A, 9, and 3 is still covered. You could play 8, 3, 6, 8, and 6. That's probably a pain, but, you know, we'll, we'll work it out when it happens. Um, but hopefully this game, we can try to, for once, set, set Delhi some problems. One thing I notice is he has a bunch of fives to the right. So if I started with something like a6, 9, 4, and 7, that is a card he has to worry about, right? I do sort of threaten to block it in, but also if he ever plays 8, a4, 5, 9, and 9 is a potentially really strong retort. Um, it also means it's hard for him to play Steiner, 954A, and 9 himself. That is far from impossible. What else is there to do here? I, I like the look of a6947. I don't think it's anything to kind of write home about, but it's not clear he can set up much of an L, right? Because like if he plays a3, 6, 8, and 9 in reply, like that looks nice. But then I play something with an a up from 8, and he has no Ls, um, or at least no L that threatens 5. And that gives me a lot of freedom to maneuver. Um, and if he directs the game leftward, that's bad for both of us kind of thing. If a6947 is met by Zidane in three, then I'm probably sad. Yeah, that looks like it could be a problem. Maybe a pretty significant one. Because I don't really have a card I want to put an 8 to block my guy in. So that could be a real problem. Uh, what was another idea I had? Shadow in 9. Not too excited about what I do if they take me. Uh, can't really set up against 6, 8, 5, 9. 9, 8, 3, 8, and 9. That was my other idea. Um, 9, 8, 3, 8, and 9. 8, 3, 6, 8, and 5 is a really annoying setup, among other things. No, it's not that annoying. Because if I go 8 there, induce the combo, but I can't induce the combo comfortably. No, don't love that. Don't love that. And I really don't like the look of a6947, Zidane, and 3. So do, if I, do I have a way to do something that's kind of like 7, but blocks Zidane and 3? I could play Lightning and 1. Lightning and 1 has some merit. They can't really reply with Steiner. Uh, they can reply with a3, 6, 8, and 9. That was something that... 
that Lightning and Seven gave me a reply I like to. Ah, uh, the, the directional issue is... So what if I started with A477 in 7 instead? Then... Then what? No idea. Oh man. I really would have liked to have a first turn I could, um apply significant pressure off of, but I, I don't feel this is that random. Is there any weird plays in five? Uh, it just gives him too much control. Gives him too much control. Um, bad down, bad up, I'm out of time. All right, let's. to the move I spent the most time on, though I don't love it. This has been a very bad match for me so far. <laughs> Do what you can. In the uh, the last one, I don't think I said, but I checked um, between the videos because Akiyama asked me to. Uh, he said he thought that Mustadio in three instead of eight one eight a was a win for Delhi, and he was right. Um, I thought he had to keep on Mustadio to punish um, to punish my play in five, but if I go in five there, oh, what does he have? Is something big. Uh, what is it exactly? You won't remember the position because you're not looking at it, but I will uh, bring up the, uh, the solver and show that indeed Akiyama very smartly. So um, let's bring it up. So here I ruled out this move because I thought he could play here, but it turns out I can block eight here and sneak off with a tie. I thought this move beat me, but I just take it. <laughs> uh, or I forget what I thought beat me. Now it now it was clear it doesn't beat me. So I missed that this ties and I panicked. I did look at eight, I just, it didn't work in my head. Um, and here he can win, he played this card here, but he could have played this here. And we both thought, um, that he has to keep onto that card to punish, but he doesn't really, because, um, well, I can't play that here, but, um, in this spot, I think this was the tricky line. Now, he has so many wins here. I don't know now. It's all, it's all a muddle in my head. So we'll, uh, we'll move off that and return to our game, but those were the, uh, the missed ties, um, and the missed win. So, just hopefully Delhi doesn't go in three. That would be very annoying for me.
What tools do we have against three? Not many. Our best setup against it was, you know, well, kind of non-existent the whole way. So that's okay. Um, question is, where can we go? I can't really go eight because it just gives him, if he goes to Don in three, it gives him eight, three, six, eight, and nine just far too easily in that position. is going to be very annoying to defend facing the way it does. So I will probably play um, a relatively weak corner in one because I think I need to direct that game, the game that way if he goes three. Because I have last turn, but maybe maybe I can just take safety somewhere. But that 6859 covers a lot of my hand. The thing is, as soon as one of us goes like in nine or goes in eight, it immediately gives the other one a bunch of safe squares next to it. And so I kind of don't want to be the first to do it. Maybe I could go four. Maybe I could go four. Just, you can take stuff if you want from eight, but then I get a really juicy square in nine. And my cards in nine and eight will either be safe or I'll have comboed the cards you put in eight. Or I will have gotten that six, eight, five, nine out of your hand, and that's a very annoying card, and I'll be happy to get it out of the hand. So I might, I might consider going in four. Three games in a row without like anything at all clicking is a rare run of... I, it's not bad luck or anything. I mean, it's been Deli all just thoroughly outplaying me uh, consecutive games. I very easily could have been lost in both of them. I'm not sure if I was. I haven't checked the first game yet. I only checked the second because Akiyama asked. But, ugh. What a... What a difficult set of games. This is the kind of game if you're playing like a tournament match and you're not out of time basically to play, you gotta, you gotta say, uh, I need a break because my brain is overworked and things are not clicking. Also, kudos to Deli. He's playing great even if he did miss a win. Okay. Okay. We might have pressure. We might be able to get pressure now. We might not. Oh, they do have a five setup. <laughs> Sedan and six is the five setup. Oh, I was so hopeful. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, so hopeful. All right, well, so I play something with an A up and eight. For some reason, didn't think they had the move in six. Of course, he has the move in six. Always has the move in six. Um... And then it's a little unpleasant because I have to block five and I don't have a great way to do it. Uh, but probably I can do it with nine, eight, three, eight. And if they go in, and I am, am now threatening to take their card in nine. They have no captures or anything in four. Four is a dead square for both of us. Um, or sorry, in three, I'm threatening to take in three. They can block three with something, but I now have the 10 covered, and I can play something with high left value and have a decent up-down sweeper at the end. So, because 8, 6, 7, 7, importantly, kind of just has to beat 6, 8, 5, 9, because nothing else can capture anything. And it also dominates 8, 4, 9, 5, and 1, and 4. Um, maybe that line made some sense to someone. Not sure it did. So I'm thinking 8, 4, 7, 7, and 8. Um, and I think the only way he can apply serious pressure is likely Zidane in six. Anything else I don't have to worry about five, and I can take a safe square in three, and it's pretty hard for me to lose. So Zidane in six. I play nine, eight, three, eight, and five. It's really hard for them to not block three. Steiner in three loses, so they have to go A four nine five. Maybe that card's named Sarah. Let's call it Sarah. Sarah or Ridia in three. If Ridia in three, 
Eh, we still tie. They have Steiner at the end. Um, well, if Sarah in three, then I take it with Shadow and I win. So they're not playing that. If Steiner in three, I take it with Locke and I win. So they're not playing that. And so therefore, Rydia in three. I play Locke in two, presumably. And eight, six, seven, seven gets me the tie. That's sort of the main line. Don't apply all that much pressure there. Is it any better if I use lock and eight immediately and hold on to eight, four, seven, seven? I don't think so, because lock at least killed one of their cards in the previous variation. Um, they can meet, they can meet me going in five by going in one because he has a big combo in two with eight, four, nine, five. But honestly, it's I can just walk into it because I have the combo back on Zidane at the end. So it's not, it's not a real move. Okay, so I think I go eight and we just kind of peacefully make a tie without too much fuss anywhere. That's what I think. Yeah, I don't. The only other, I think, serious. Yeah, there, there is no other serious option. Yeah. We're gonna play. Let's make a tie. So, okay. Oh, weird, weird game in the other one. Let's let's look at this. Look at this. Moving four, four. Now you'd think that moving four would be happening, because Smokes has to if he goes in one, is comboed from seven. But he isn't comboed from seven. I don't get this move at all. Like, I know 6864 has good coverage on it from both sides, but you're conceding a very valuable point to make this other point. Maybe it's that um, Smokes is no card, because Smokes, the card Smokes would want to use in one is 7864, and he can't play that in one. So, okay. Because if Smokes can't get rid of that card, he really wants to keep 7486, because that's what dominates the um that's what dominates the uh three and six. And four six eight seven is also pretty tempting to try to hold on to. Huh. Hmm. Weird position. We'll go back to my game and we'll see what happens there in a bit. I think Zidane in six is the, the standard move. Like, looks very reasonable. But I think I play nine eight three eight and five, and maybe there's other ways to tie. Maybe maybe four ties, but six eight five nine and three looks like it pretty directly just makes a tie. 
So, ah, tough games, tough games. Put in the moves. I'm, I was glad to see a three, six, eight, and nine. I thought after um, Zidane in three, I'd be having to be much more careful to make a tie. Well, here, like, okay, Deli's moves aren't tricky, but I think Deli has to be a tiny bit careful, and I probably don't. Ah. Oh, Delhi has another way to go and set up in five. Totally missed it. I uh, uh, times are not going great for me. That's a weird move, though. So why is nine eight three eight and five not good? I take a six four lead. If they go, if he goes in three. I just win, I block two, it doesn't, you know, with, I don't need to take a four, five, nine, and two as a win. Um, so does he have some like nasty setup? Ah, he's trying to play Zidane in one, right? He's trying to play Zidane in one. Also, he might just be able to go in four. So like if I go nine eight three eight and five, you might be able to go like Steiner in four and just make a tie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So so I'm not I'm not winning in five that way. Nine eight three eight in five. He goes Zidane in one. Interesting. Because I have no recaptures anywhere. Yeah. Oh dear, has he done it to me again? <laughs> 9 8 3 8 5, Zidane in 1. I was thinking shadow in two, but it gives him the plus in three as well as giving me the plus in three. Oh god. Every game. Every game he just creates problems. <laughs> All right, I gotta I gotta think seriously because nine eight three eight and five, Zidane in one. I just I think I lose. Oh, man. Combos too many things. Um, if I play in three, he goes in five, and he still threatens to have four. Now, he has no... he doesn't need capture backs there. Jesus. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> we, got, we got problems here. Can I block two? If I play eight, six, seven, seven, and two... If he goes three, I can now play five. Can definitely play five there. Um, if he goes five, he captures a bunch of things. He goes up seven to three. I play lock in three. I make it six, four, but I don't have a capture at the end. I do not have a capture at the end. Five is too big a problem. Man, I just, I did not see this possible. I totally missed that this was a same setup. So I missed that there was a threat, but also just 
massively underrated the possibility of this. He has setups everywhere for everything. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. And he's always just one away, like Shadow just doesn't quite take Steiner when it needs to. Well, if there's a tie here, I am certainly not seeing it, but I kind of think I have to block five, and I have no way to block five. His cards are just... his cards are perfect. He always plays them together so well. Oh, great play from Deli. Um, messy play from me. I thought this was safe, but also, like, it should have been safe. You know, this is this is usually a very safe way to play. And... Got nothing. All right, nine, eight, three, eight, and five. He plays the dawn in one. I cry. Right, that is well established. Wild. That 6859 kills me in a bunch of lines, too. Oh, I saw something close. Not that close, though. Don't see anything. So, okay. Um, my point was, after Zidane 5, I sort of pretend to have a combo back, but it's not real. Um, well, we'll see where I, uh, where I went wrong this one. What cards did I have? Deli also didn't see a tie for me. Interesting. A little bit of a shame I didn't have a, a better random, but maybe there were better ways to handle it. But man, really impressive every one of these games, how well Deli found ways to make his cards play together. Just just beautiful triple triad. Uh, hope fun to watch because every game he made them click so nicely. Really cool to see. Alright, so what did I do? I played a6, 9, 4, and 7. He played a8, 3, 6, and 9. I felt bad. Apparently I had two ties there. One was in 5, which I did not consider at all. And I guess 8, 6, 7, 7, and 5 makes some sense. And uh, 9, 8, 3, 8, and 8. But instead, I played a four seven seven, and he played a four nine five. Yeah, that's a win for him. All right, I shouldn't be checking games while the game is still on, because if I had a tie, I'd be able to now find it. That was totally cheating. I'm sorry, that is... I wasn't thinking. That is uh, very blatantly not legit. Um, I, I apologize. Uh, luckily, there was nothing to find. And... Uh, Oh man, wasn't thinking, was just thinking, oh, I'm curious to know what happens and the game's over. But of course the game is not over, so I cannot do that. Uh, this is, I think, the first time I've, and hopefully the only time I do that. But, uh, my bad. Yeah. 
Maybe he'll click the wrong card. Ah, very nicely played by Deli. Excellent game. Let's input a few more moves to the database so we have the record of this. Delhi continues to put up a really nice plus against me. He now has two wins and a bunch of ties, no losses. Kudos to him, and uh, good luck to Delhi in the finals. I'm curious, uh, now that I can check, because the game is actually over, I won't be able to control my next move. Um, I'm curious to check if uh, if Zidane in 3 was any worse for me, because I thought it was scarier than A368, but I also underestimated the danger of this line. So was Zidane in 3 a bigger problem or a smaller problem? Well, Zidane in 3 was a forced win, so at least I was right that it was a smaller problem. Uh, what a horrid random. What a, what a horrid random. Um, All right, so a 9, 8, 3, 8, and 7 as a starter would have been non-losing, apparently. Uh, but it looks like a lot of a lot of move starters for me were just losing on the spot. Yeah, really bad random. All right, what can you do? Uh, you can play better, but I didn't. So uh, cheers. Uh, congrats to Delhi, and hope he wins the finals. These were brutal games to play through. Very tiring for me. Uh, Delhi played fantastically, and just every turn my cards didn't fit at all, and his always seemed to do everything they needed to, which is not just saying he had good randoms, because I don't think he had particularly good randoms. I think he found really excellent ways to make them click. Really nicely played. Congrats to Delhi.